All right, buddy. We're gonna have to contend with all of the Wake County school buses this morning that weren't already out there on the road. It's 6.30, so we're getting out of here on time. But I was a bad mom and forgot to get the bottled Starbucks for Johnny yesterday at Walmart, so we gotta run into Starbucks on the way out of town. Good morning, Ruby. Well, looky, looky, they paved this road. You know, I don't think I came this way yesterday at all. Uh, so I'm not sure which night they paved, but it's paved and it's smooth and it's quiet like Ruby. Yay! <laughs> we're starting off at a cool 66 out there this morning, but don't worry. Later in the week, we're going to supposed to have a high of 88. So we'll be right back up there near 90. So, you know, don't fret. It's not like fall's really starting too early. But yesterday sure was nice with the cooler temps and a fall-like meal. And, you know, dreaming of the summer heat fading away. The FRX bus is in front of us this morning. Must have just left South Park with its passengers. I'm a little surprised, but so far traffic is moving along really good this morning. Not complaining, not complaining. We're entering downtown at a seven at a seven eleven a.m. this morning, so we made good time, no problems. I'm relieved. I hope it stays that way. Hey, mom. Yeah. Are we going to get a slushie after school? <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah. We don't get the reference. There's a a famous like store store gasoline station chain, 7 Eleven uh, called 7 Eleven. Yep, <laughs> 7 Eleven. I did say 7 Eleven. <laughs> Too bad the cat uh, cement statue over there on the left isn't a little closer. You know, it's not really a good way for me to get a picture of it, but uh, kind of keeps me company here in the morning while I play my Pokemon. This bus on the right seems to stop over in that location every morning. I don't know why. Maybe waiting a few minutes before it starts its next run. That's a, my best guess. But it's looking like a nice day out there. And I'm going to start to make my way out of town now. I decided I'm gonna stop by Yates Mill and uh, walk around for a few minutes. It's only uh, just now going on eight o'clock. I uh, had tried to get here one time a few months ago in the morning and going down Tryon Road was a traffic disaster. And I thought, you know, if I go closer to home and then put it in, it'll show me a way to get there that's bound to not be as bad traffic wise. And I think I found the perfect, uh, I think I found the perfect uh, route. This will take this road here, Simpkins Road, will take me right over to Lake Wheeler and close to the park entrance and uh, it should be hassle free. The uh, park staff were at the opening gate. I guess the park opens at 8 a.m. this time of year. You know, they adjust the opening and closing with the sunrise and sunset. So it's probably a good time of year to come because uh, as it gets bright later, they will uh, open later. It's uh, magnificent out here on the boardwalk this morning. Myself and another gentleman with a camera, we've been very quiet and observing uh, a great blue heron, an egret, a green heron, and uh, we hear some other bird calls off in the distance. I took some 360 footage, which should be pretty cool. And um, like I said, it's just gorgeous out here. The temperature's great, the sun's right, little breeze.
kind of bad nature etiquette to be allowed out here when someone's trying to watch the wildlife, especially when they've come right when the park opens, when lots of other people haven't already stomped their way through. I just discovered that this camera has a pano mode and I figured out how to use it and take a few panos. It's pretty cool. It's similar to what the iPhone does. When you get here, you gotta decide, are you going to the uh, Creekside Trail where there's a chance for a lot more wildlife or are you going on the Mill Pond Trail to get over to the mill? Well, the other two nature people here with binoculars and cameras, they walk to the uh, boardwalk back here. So that's what I'm gonna do. It's uh, not a long walk. I have four cameras on me this morning. The Canon 70D around my neck, the 360 camera in its case on a carabiner on my uh, blue jeans belt loop, my phone, and of course the uh, G7X Mark III vlogging camera. So I'm pretty loaded down this morning. Oh, and the purse, little tiny purse with my key fob in it. There is a lot of activity going on here this morning if you look close. The uh, jewel weed, the little orange flower, is starting to open and there are hummingbirds out here. And there are also berries, which I think is elderberry. And a lot of the birds are munching on that. I'm walking back toward the first boardwalk now. I am going to uh, walk the Mill Pond Trail. I need to use the restrooms and I'd like to see the mill this morning maybe do a 360 over there so i could go back through the parking lot but that would be rather boring slightly shorter but rather boring i wasn't able to get a good hummingbird picture but the guys there said uh the jewel weed is going to start opening up more here in the next week and to come back because there will be 30 or 40 hummingbirds out there and that section just off the boardwalk here pretty soon. Probably my best picture was a red admiral butterfly. And I got some bird shots. Cat bird. Carolina wren. Not sure what else. To me this is the boring part of the trail. I mean it wouldn't be boring if there was a barred owl looking down at me and I could get a few pictures of him but the chances of me actually being able to spot an owl up there looking down at me or probably not too good squirrels out here on the on the trail with me though there's too much breeze and not quite enough light to make for an awesome picture right now this time of year about one in the afternoon is a good time something like that and the last couple days of october and the first couple of days of november is a uh, peak leaf shot here. Well, at least the light is on the uh, water wheel right now. Can almost hear the water for the cars behind me.
There's Ruby, right where I left her. Hey buddy, how are you? Well, you rushed right on over. You're such a good boy. Come on, graze over this way. Let's walk this way. I got about three hours before I turn around and go back to downtown Raleigh. That might be enough time to process all the photos I took this morning. Maybe. Hey, Gray. Hey, Donnie. Hey, pretty girl. I didn't know I was going to do that. What, walk around the mill pond? Well, stop at Yates Mill. All right. So oh. my brain said... I'll just look at off the boardwalk and see what birds are here. Right. Then my brain said with these other nature photographers out there, I'll walk to the back boardwalk and see what's out there too. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. And then it was like, you know, I can't leave Yates Mill without seeing the mill. And I really need to use the bathroom. Yeah. Well, I cut through the parking lot when you can go the scenic way. Exactly. And two hours later, I left the park. Right. <laughs> Yeah, with well, uh, a couple hundred photos and 20 videos, you know, nothing much. Yeah, I would say that you've probably been to Yatesville a hundred times. It may not be exact, but the number of times that you've been to Yatesville and you haven't walked around the park, uh, I think you count that on one hand. That's true. It was a nice day for it. Yeah. And I did get some good uh, pictures. Good. It's 1.37 and I'm just a couple of minutes late to go get Johnny. <laughs> Let me get myself on the road. Don't think I can blame school buses uh, in the middle of the afternoon. You know, the only one that caused me any trouble today was right before Yates Mill Park. There was about 20, 25 cars behind a stop school bus. But he only stopped one time after I got in that line of 25. And then we were on the way. I did get a little nap at the house and I'm still trying to wake up. But the good news is, is all the footage I shot this morning at Yates Mill is on my MacBook and Google Drive and ready to go. So, um, that'll speed things up tonight. Yeah. So, I'm on my way to get Johnny. Like I said, he's got Taekwondo at 5. We're going to have really good leftovers tonight for dinner so I don't have to cook from scratch tonight. That's a good thing. And, uh, day's going good so far. The closer I get to Raleigh, the more like rain it looks, although there's no rain on the radar. I think we only have a 30% chance. Maybe it's just going to cloud up. We're home, and it's chow time for kitties. Afternoon chow time. Hi, Slate. There's Gray. And, of course, Tuxie. Johnny's giving uh, Gray some love. It's time for us to uh, go to Taekwondo. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey. I'm sure she appreciated that. Was I a little close to the fern there? <laughs> yeah. Sorry. That Nano HD, that Unify, it's here. Don ordered some cables yesterday, though, that he realized he wanted. Well, I've got enough that I can install it. But to permit install it as far as up on, we're going to figure out where we want it. So we're going to try it in several locations and then once we find it in several locations I'm going to run a cable underneath the house through the walls etc 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 so and when you do that job you want to yeah in fact I was thinking lifetime I never need to run another cable again cable yeah well JB will be here into September I may not even do it until then you know it'll give us a Don's, project Don's brother yeah he's going to come visit in September so it'll give us a project to do hey JB we going to be pulling cable <laughs> <laughs> we were sitting here enjoying my great leftovers. We yeah, were watching Andy Griffith. We yeah. were had our feet up. It was the end of the day. We were all happy, and the power flickered on and off nine times. Uh, well, it it almost it, yes. I mean, it flickered off and on a couple times, but you could tell whatever the problem was. It was just really close to being able to come back on, and it stayed on for like thirty seconds. And then it went off, and then it, and then it repeated that. Yeah. Twice. So it was, it was like nine yeah, clickers. It, was. it, it was, was. Half a dozen or more. And sure. that new gizmo we got for power outages, you oh. ready to go carry it to the house and we're going, we're ready with it? Well, it's out in the box. <laughs> if they gave us batteries that are charged, we'd be good. But if they give us batteries to be charged, we're going to be out of luck. Well, let's go unpack it. All right. Let's you know, that. Johnny has to know about power outages and generators and stuff. And if you listen carefully, 
the lift station down there by the bridge it's running. That only runs when it's uh everything is dead dead and yeah. Poor Ruby, she's plugged in but she can't charge. Nope. Well, even if it weren't to come on tonight, I got plenty to take Johnny to school. That's right. Even though I didn't charge yesterday. I don't know exactly what it's at, but it's well over 100 miles. I can tell you where it is. It's embarrassing. <laughs> That's what it is. That you hadn't unboxed this? That I hadn't unboxed this. That's right. All right. I mean, this thing is not that complicated. Well... I know that. The battery's about half charged. Let's hope. <laughs> I'm not really upset. Oh, oh, it's only a fourth charged. <laughs> oh, not so good. Well, aren't some of our batteries over there charged? Yes, I think so. We don't leave them sitting around just like the car. You don't leave them sitting at 100. Right. Now, we kind of abuse one of them for the blower in the winter time because we're using it so often we need it to have, you know, a good charge. But, all right, well, that looks pretty good. That one's lit up. So, they ship them at 25%. Well, Don's put our three batteries and one of the new batteries in. Yeah, well, of course, now, with all these big seven and a half amp hour batteries, it weighs about as much as a real generator. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> 60 pounds? 80 pounds? Uh, yeah, exactly. 80. I don't want to have to move it? Yeah, yeah, right. I yeah. was going to ask him to do this Saturday or Sunday so we could put it in the video to add some content. All right, so the two, these two new ones, it's saying is low power. It no. says we can get 2,000 watts out of this baby. Well, actually, I think he's it's happy. It says we got at 2,000 watts. I guess we've... Oh, no way. It's going to last 49 minutes. It says hours. 47 hours, 21 minutes. Yeah, that's probably just running the display. Ah, right, with no load. You put the load on it and then it'll go down? Yeah, something like that. So what's it showing on the side over here? I don't know. What are you looking at? Well, it's the battery. Oh, okay. The flashing red. So these are the two new ones, and then the other two that we have, they don't got no charge either? No, the new ones have the little blue circle. I mean, the little green. These are the old, older batteries. Okay, so they had no charge, basically. Yeah, well, I guess. We're going to test it real quick. I got this fan here. And I'm going to turn it on. So it actually does work. And now it says... We could run the fan on high for three hours. It's saying it's calculating. So Don wants to see if it'll do what he was hoping it'll do and power the cable modem and the TV. First, I have to find the plug under all these <laughs> shoes. Well, it is my closet. So don't get started about the whole, you know, my stuff in the closet now, thing. Everything in this closet is on this one plug. <laughs> Is that good? Yeah, well, I think so. We'll turn it on. Yeah, yeah. All right, it's almost there. You ready? Yep. There you go. Get it on. Bubba, no. It says it can run it for four right now. Of course, everything's not 100% on yet. This drop of the time. So it says it can run it for two and a half hours. Probably not that long. Right. But, well, again, you got to remember these poor batteries, they're all dead. Right, if we had <clears throat> charged batteries, we well, could. Well, I didn't know. <laughs> my intent was... There was to... no hurricane forecast for right. this my, weekend. My intent was to charge them whenever they said, oh, you know, in the next five days we're going to have all this and I was going to get everything, you know, charged up because 
you know, even these batteries are high. These things are $350 a yeah, piece. Yeah, piece. They're very expensive batteries. But you could leave them charged at three quarters. Right. We could leave them right. charged at three quarters. Right. And it was just, you know, my big lawnmower battery. I, I don't charge it after I use it. I run it down low, but not dead. And then, you know, it's just bad luck. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Yeah, it's fun for an hour or two, and then it becomes not fun. There's the TV. Don says the DVR is booting. Of course, the TV's booting, and but yes, it's powered. And if the cable isn't dead, dead, then the modem ought to come back up. But right. if the cable company's having an outage too, then of course that power's not going to fix well, they're, that. They're going to drive around and find it, but I think this is a very widespread outage. So. Yeah, well, Johnny and I are going to go look at the lift station. Uh, yeah. We'll drive Main Street Main and Street. see, or we'll drive over to South Park and yeah. see who else is dead. Right. So nice. we're going to answer a couple questions. The first question is, can you unplug the charging cable when there's no power? I mean, I figure you can. So Well, she, Ruby came alive. We knew she was going to do that because yeah. she's got plenty of charge. And you can see there's no green light over there. It's right, dead. the high power wall connect. Ooh, right away. No, no problem. problems. Easy peasy. And let's just leave her unplugged until right. we're sure we're stable with the power again. Now, of course, can I get the garage door to open? That's the next question. We'll take the van if it's going to cause Donnie too much trouble. Right. Well, that didn't seem to cause you too much trouble. Yeah, well, that emergency release gives me grief from time to time. So we can go on and just do that. It'll hold it down. So you're okay. good to go. So we can take our little stroll. Okay. Thank well, you, you, Donnie. Hit you and Johnny. Enjoy yourself. We'll report back shortly. Thank you, bud. So this is the Fugue Barino lift station over by the Jeff Wells trail. It's running because the power is currently out. It does not look like it's under load because of the flap on the top. It's not all the way up. It goes up. That would signify it's under, uh, under load. Me and Mr. Don think that this lift station is either a four cylinder or a six cylinder. And we think it runs off propane due to the tank to the left of the generator. Johnny's very relieved to tell you that this is not an EMP outage, otherwise Ruby wouldn't be working. Nor the and, camera, nor our phone. Right, and I agree with cars. him, and this light here is uh, totally out. So what's the rule for when lights are out? Be careful and go quick if it looks like the others aren't moving. I don't know. <laughs> Make sure to stop everybody comes to a stop make sure to signal make eye contact with the other drivers first person there goes first and then I think it's either clockwise or counterclockwise but it goes back to if nobody else is moving and you've been there for a bit go <laughs> yeah the little speed things working because it's solar <laughs> it's got a solar cell so our first sign of light is up here um, by the mason jar tavern we didn't see any signs of electricity we did pass one Duke truck on the, you know, a bucket truck. The tavern's truck. out. The tavern's out. The first, so that street light, something's... Yeah, I agree. The tavern's out. Possible it's running off some sort of emergency power source. Right, that light. So. Mm -hmm. All right, well, they have power in there off to the right. So it looks like the power this way south is out there. I know kids outside people sitting on the front porch neighbors out in the street talking to each other <laughs> it's amazing what happens when you don't have power after dinner yep thank goodness you know we had our food already warm because you know Don and I are still doing that eat one once a day and when it gets to be five or six o'clock we are past ready for that ability we to just eat. saw two Duke power trucks the one here at the stoplight and there's another one in South Park and they, um, they really don't seem like they know where the, where the problem is. I, I don't know if that's possible, but, but yeah, the whole south side of Fuquay is out. This Duke sent me a message and says, you're back up. Let us know if you're not. And I said, replied off that we're still off. So they thought we weren't off even after I reported it. So I don't know. We don't see any automobile accidents or anything that looks like a probable culprit you know what's the good news they got to figure out where to fix in order to get us back online ruby has 97 miles of rated range left and um 
yesterday and today. So Sunday, just driving around Fuquay, and today's school run was 116.9 miles. Okay. So I've learned a little bit more. This indicator here is the power indicator, so it's not putting out very much power. In other words, the load is not drawing very much. Uh, the manual did not give an indication of what each one of these little rectangles would mean, but obviously um, the fan's cutting, cycling on and off, so it isn't working too hard because it's, it's, you the know. The fan's not on all the time. Time, right. And the other thing is uh, each battery has an indicator. You can see the little segments. Oh, okay. So, yep, I see it. So battery one and three have two segments on. Well, they all have two segments on, but a while ago this one had like... Uh, three or four segments on but the segments they vary uh, based on what it is so right now um, the batteries are uh, see that one just changed just went down lost the yeah, segment that's because it's getting discharged so right the power now. company has 49 minutes before all hell breaks loose yeah that means till Don's TV, TV goes, goes out. out right I can be entertained for now <laughs> okay I'm up here where y'all see Marianne turn out every morning out of our um, street that takes us back to our subdivision and there's a big um, big powwow up here Duke trucks cop cars everybody in the world here so hopefully this means uh, our power is going to be back on soon they got enough Duke trucks there because let me tell you it's shown enough to be dark through here I mean I mean it is it is dark 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 you know, you never realize how dark it gets <laughs> until there ain't no, there's no power in these houses. These are all houses. I'm, I'm, I know you can't see, but those are all houses. <laughs> None of them got no light. <laughs> yeah. But I think uh, they've got enough. To, they've. Uh, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say they've uh, located the trouble, and it looks like the, all the resources necessary are working on it. So let's keep our fingers. All right. Off. All right, I'm out here in the garage in battery charging mode. Let's get Ruby going here. Get her all happy. There she goes. There's our throbbing Elon um, uh, high power wall connector. And you can see the current power is amping up 48, 55, 66,000, 65, 60, about 67,000 watts, um, 30 amps. Yeah, I think I got the charge set to 30 amps. So there's uh, 30 amps at 240, 239 volts. Um, uh, you know, that's 7,200 watts there. And then, of course, I have plugged in one of the ego batteries I have five batteries now and I plugged it into the um, high-speed charger this is the uh, comes with the lawnmower the 21 inch self report lawnmower and this is a fast charger it'll charge a battery in an hour and then since uh, I was caught you know found lacking I plugged uh, this gizmo in and you can see it's charging that back battery, which is number three. If you notice, the number three here is blinking. I, I think that means it thinks it's going to take 14 hours and 22 minutes, maybe to charge them all, because I can't believe it would take 14 hours to charge that. So, um, you know, I'm going to let it do its thing. Uh, we'll see. Um, when I turned it on, I've got uh, three seven and a half amp hour and one five amp hour battery here in this thing. Um, all the things, lights on all the batteries flashed and stuff. And then, it, like I said, it decided that it would start charging number three. I don't know why it chose number three. Maybe it, it sensed the worst or the most deadest one. I don't know. So uh, we'll go from there.